Hey guys, Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com and today we're going to be testing out a couple different kind of sliders. Uh, we've got the Dotline DLC 47 inch slider. This is made from uh, all aluminum. It's very sturdy uh, and very affordable as well. It was only about, I think I got 20% off at a, a local camera shop here in, um, in Reno, but uh, I believe you can get these on B and H photo for about 150, 147 bucks. Uh, I'll find the link and put it in the description below. Um, but what I've got here, I've got it set up on two, two different tripods. I've got my Manfrotto 701 uh, HDV video head um, to get nice pans up and down and sideways as well. And I'm just going to get a shot of this, this uh, nice little bridge here. We're here along a river, um, actually in Redding right now, and uh, it's nice greenery, lots of moss and stuff. Um, but I just want to show you the quality that you can get with an affordable slider. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars of, with a slider if you know what you're doing. Have some stable tripods and uh, just really get some nice smooth shots with your hand. So I'm filming with my Canon 6D here, and we're just going to do a push-in shot right here. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some other kind of shots you can do right now. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to get basically just a push shot. I'm all focused in on kind of mid bridge right there. Got my exposure set up correctly. Um, and I'm just going to press the start button and get a little bit in front of it. And just use the handle to get a nice smooth push in like so. All right. So let's move on to the next shot. All right, so for this next shot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be filming this rock uh, as the foreground and then move on and get the rocks and the river running through this nice little stream here. Um, I've got a slight angle on the rail here, on the slider. So what I wanna do is I just wanna change uh, the plate around on my Manfrotto video head so that I can adjust it to where it's level. I'm just gonna Rotate this around real fast. There you go. We're gonna stick it in. Actually, gotta go the other way. Rotate it around that way. That way, we can just slide that in, and then we can adjust the angle up and down this way for the tilt. Okay. So, what I want to get here is this rock and then point over this way. I'm gonna rotate it around. Lock that in, set my exposure. And I'm gonna be pulling focus while I'm moving the shot, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. It's nice and smooth. And you can try it both ways and just see which one's smoother. So let me try this one more time over here. And start. And that's how you do angled shots. So this slider has a self-lubricating, um, basically plastic ball bearings, and it slides nice and smooth. I'm using the Pico dolly to film this. And on the bottom of the slider, it's got these two uh, legs on each side with these rubber stoppers, so it prevents it from uh, sliding around on smooth surfaces. And it's also got um, three separate mounting points for tripods uh, in two different sizes. Uh, this is usually for pro camera video tripods and this is for smaller tripods meant for um, point view cameras and DSLR cameras. So it's got a mounting point right here, right in the middle there, and then also 
at the other side for tripods. So you can either have two at each side or you could just mount one tripod right in the middle here. watching guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you go and pick yourself up a slider whether it's this one or something a little bit more expensive this is one of my favorite pieces of kit at an affordable price and you're gonna be able to get some awesome shots with it uh, so for less than 200 bucks it is a score so I'll put the link in the description below please remember to comment rate and subscribe see you guys